welcome to your super moon special. It's also called Flower Moon. And this is our last super moon of the year 2020. How exciting. This is a super moon in Scorpio. May 2020. What a crazy time. And how exciting this is. Because first of all, Scorpio is very sexual. It can be very dark and enlightened at the same time. With everything that's been happening, I mean, hello. This is the time to shed our layers and get rid of all the blockage. Everything that blocks us from being our true selves to let our soul come alive. What do we really want? What really matters in our lives and what is stopping us? What have we been holding back, you know? I'm just going to talk for myself. There's a few things that I want to get rid of that I do not no longer need and they're all self-imposed things, you know? Um to give you an example, I haven't really been pitching my music for a while because honestly, I've been just very what's the word I'm looking for? I haven't been really confident, you know, like oh, my music before was not good and I have don't I don't have anything new, so I'm just not going to pitch. And that's bullshit. It's complete bullshit. It's a story I've been telling myself. Another example could be that, you know, I'm not ready to be in a relationship. First of all, everyone I want is either in a relationship or they're gay. <laughs> you know? So this is all bullshit stories we tell ourselves or whatever else you're telling yourself. So my recommendation for tonight is to make a list of all the things you want to get rid of. The blocks that really stop you from breaking through, from going for what you really want. And Scorpio is such a fearless sign because Scorpio is adventurous. Scorpio, like I said, is sexual, is passion, right? It's danger and enlightenment at the same time. And isn't that exciting? So look at the moon. And I mean, it is even more gorgeous in person, but I think this kind of is a pretty... Yeah, it's pretty accurate <laughs> to some, to a certain degree, right? So here are a few things that you could be doing tonight in more detail that I'll be doing in a minute. Um, I've been, I'll be writing down all the things that are blocking me or that I've been blocking myself. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to tear it all up and I'm going to burn it. I'm just going to burn it in the backyard. I'm not going to start a fire. And what I will be doing after that, I'm going to write down everything that I want. Everything that I want to manifest. The person that I truly want to be. I'm going to write that down. And I'm not going to write down, I will be, I'm going to be. No, I am. I am a money magnet. I am in an amazing relationship. I am killing it with my music. I am successful. I am happy. I am in perfect health. I am satisfied. I am learning each and every day. So you get the gist of it, right? That is what you should be doing tonight because this is powerful. And every full moon is a chance to give birth to the new you. And like I said before, this timing couldn't be more perfect because we've had a few super moons before this too and this is the third and last one i think this, we had three and this is the perfect time because with everything that's been going on there's no going back to normal we we're going back to a new normal and the new normal is our chance to what can we let go of because we have been letting go of a lot of things for the past few weeks right with quarantine, with keeping our distance, showing love now is really keeping a distance. You know, what's brought us together is being apart. So there's so much to think about that we would have never acknowledged before. And get intimate. Get intimate with yourself. What do I really want? Being honest with ourselves. We often, even to ourselves, lie to ourselves. Yeah, things are good. I got this, you know. When in reality, it's like, no, not really. Um, very important. And that means 
not just your not so much focusing on material but also like on the inner what does the inner child want what does our inner selves really crave and then give that to your inner child Scorpio is associated with the second chakra so really move your hips around a little bit and get everything your pelvis moving because you're gonna awaken your sexual energy which is also awakening your money channels attracting the finances yes they are combined if you have ever read um think and grow rich he talks about that a lot napoleon hill about sexual energy whenever somebody's in love they excel in business because that energy is a very driven energy and it's very exciting and that attracts more of the good stuff so definitely awaken and move that second chakra and attract all the good stuff that you want get in touch with your soul mate and what i mean by that is we often want to find the answers and we often have that you know cape on like playing superwoman superman um think that we have to figure it all out on our own find a place to be quiet for a minute and you're going to be doing that anyway because you're going to be writing down the things you know that are blocking you right and the things that you actually want to manifest and while you're doing that ask your spirit guides for guidance just really get in touch ask are you there show yourself to me guide me give me a sign where am i supposed to go because our intuition is never ever wrong nurture a hidden talent sometimes we don't start something because we are overthinking it we we just can't see it manifest so we feel that you know what yeah that's nice but i don't have the talent i don't really have the time i don't have what it takes so everybody else is already doing that so why should i do that nurture it bring it back out whether that was you drawing something you're trying to write a book you wanting to write a song you wanting to build a castle <laughs> i don't know what you want to do i highly recommend julian cameron's book the artist's way it's really for people who feel like they don't have it they've lost it maybe they had it sometime in the past and then you know life happened or family happened and so they pushed it all away and made peace with the fact that i'm not a creative person i just i'm a nurse or i'm a stewardess or i'm a doctor um but the truth is you all have a talent and a lot of times you just tucked it away so you want to bring it back out and this book the artist's way i highly recommend it it's a great book to nurture those hidden talents again and be a bit more playful again like the inner child in you wants to come out and play let's play when i think of scorpio i think of control power and transformation and sex <laughs> so rise like the phoenix let the old you your old life die what you no longer need let that die and rise from the ashes you are reborn this is your time this is our time to transform to make this world a better world not just for ourselves but for the entire world you know again the, everything's been happening all the signs it's so fucking obvious for us to elevate for us to shift for us to break out of the old world we've been living in you know the hustle hustle outside conditions competition all the time you know keeping up with everybody else running running against time no the old world is over the new world has begun and things are changing dramatically drastically so this is all about how do i want to show up now who do i want to be not for the world but for myself what are my values what i'm are my passions what is my true love because you know if we are lucky 
most people live longer than ever so if you think you're old because you're 50 and you're going to be 80 or 90 even 100 you still have 40 years on this earth if you are 80 you might still become 100 and still have 20 years left if you're really young oh my god you're lucky you have so much time so there's no excuse and it doesn't even matter how old you are what matters is where you are right now what you've discovered right now and where you really want to go because let's face it why are you living right just to wait for the day of your death if you are still functioning well and you still feel great, go after your dreams. The worst that could happen is you fail. And so what? At least you tried. You know how many people don't even try? How many people don't even think about? Oh, it's a full moon. Let's meditate. Maybe all of this stuff is working. Maybe there is a higher power. You don't have to believe in God to believe in a higher power because the higher power is really you. It's your belief. It's your mind. You know, it's your ability to wake yourself up and to think for yourself and to act for yourself and to create for yourself. So this moon is powerful. I wasn't even planning to talk this long about this, but I just feel so passionate about this because astrology is a big part of life and there's so much more out there than just us. And we somehow think we're the only thing that's in existence. <laughs> we rule this universe and we don't. We are a small part of it. So while we have the opportunity to play a part in this movie called Life, and we all star in our own movie because we all have our own story going on. Make it big. Make it amazing. Make it, make it something that leaves a legend. Make it something that makes you proud. That on your deathbed you're going to be like, you know what? I lived life. I've done all the things I wanted to do. I didn't get all of it done, but I did most of what I wanted to do. It was exciting and then you move on to the next chapter and probably come back reincarnate at, at, at some point you know who knows um i do believe in that but however i wish you guys such an amazing full moon in scorpio and i know this is a little bit like left field for my channel but this is something i've always been into and i never quite shared as much um i you know yeah let's just leave it like that anyway i love you guys i sent you so much love and you know what you're in control so take this time for yourself for no one else for yourself 10 minutes 15 minutes half an hour an hour three hours do this for you just do this for you because you deserve it you're worth it i love you guys i'll talk to you tomorrow and no there's not going to be a song a day because i had no time that's totally fine. Love you guys.